Cheers. I got a kind of a surprise for you. I, probably not for you guys, but especially for me. I didn't know we were getting a full Halo Infinite multiplayer overview, but we are. And yeah, I did gonna, not know this. Yeah, they're going to fully talk about the multiplayer and give us full details about it. I don't know how much they're going into it. Uh, but I mean, hey, let's just jump into it, Alex. Uh, uh, really yes. quickly, I want to get into the video, but really quickly, is there one mm -hmm. thing you want to know about from this video? Um, I want to know. I want to make sure that the customization is as good as it always been. Okay, so you want customization to be there? I'm hope. Yeah, I'm hoping that they don't screw it up and be like, oh, you know, we want to go somewhere different, and they mm -hmm. get rid of it. So I'm I'm hoping that that doesn't that's not the case. Okay, because they got I, rid of the elites. Yeah, they did. I want to know about game modes, mm -hmm. and I want to know about how weapon and ordnance drops are gonna work. Mm. Also, and I feel like this is like one question, but I'm like kind of doing it in three parts. How I'll, big I'll, are the maps? Yeah, I don't think we'll know maps. That'd be dope if we got some maps. But and then mm -hmm. how does um like power ups work now? Because obviously in three, mm -hmm. we had invisibility, overshield, over all that stuff. Also, we had the bubble shield. Like, how does that stuff work now? Is it even yeah. in the game? I assume it is, but like, we how does have it work? We bubble shield again, but it's like a front shield one instead of a whole dome. Yeah, we did see I that. saw you're a right. clip of that. Yeah, yep, you're right. All right. Well, let's get, let's get into this. feeling of like being in a firefight and hearing the, the we're getting the a little slow down so i'm gonna go down to 10 8. throwing it down grabbing one off the wall my gunner's upside down and he's there like laying in i see kill assist kill assist kill assist any pistol across any of the games whatever gun allows me to feel the most like john wick i am there and remember how excited i was <laughs> with like this big combat with vehicles going all over the place Halo means something different for everyone, right? I think that that's what makes Halo great. Oh, the armor looks really nice. I like that one arm was red. Mm hmm. What is Halo multiplayer? And for me, it boils down to this tight arena style combat and big team battle, this wide open, vehicle infused uh, kind of combat. We're taking that awesome legacy or classic halo combat experience and modernizing it in ways that'll feel fresh to old players and really exciting to new players we're going to give you great ways to customize your spartan really make your super soldier your own and we're kicking off a journey an experience that's going to evolve month to month season to season year after year for me working through this multiplayer of this game and the toughest challenge i think was really about how do we respect the legacy of what came before us, but still build something that feels new? We've tried to bring all these elements of legacy and really inject them into Halo Infinite, not just like in a, in a, in a way where you kind of won't notice it, where you feel like, oh, they really designed this to be a celebration of previous Halo, as well as an iteration of where Halo can go <coughs> next. Yeah, this looks good. Mm, the, yeah, the, the screens look really good. Ooh, that grapple. The vision of Arena was shotgun and, and grapple. Experience. I think are the like two I'm like most. Oh. It was all about earning like everything on the map. Oh, needle. Ooh, there's my needle. You get going back to like what is the core foundation of mm. what made is the great Halo multiplayer arena matches great. Halo, it's really about fair and balanced starts, so everybody's on equal footing when they come off the rip, and then once they start, uh, I like around, that. It's about scavenging. Mm -hmm. It's about finding new like toys and, and kind of developing your play style as you run through the match. So. No loadouts, it seems. Like Halo. Um, I mm -hmm. feel like uh, the answer to that question is is the sandbox. Like the sandbox is Halo. When we set out to look at Halo Infinite from a high level and the direction of what it is, there's lots of exciting things there because we really wanted to push. What are the things that are true to Halo? But what are the things that fans? Oh, it's seen? in segments. Did you see that? Oh, kind of that grapple to the gravity hammer. A bigger voice than to snatch it from somebody. We ask questions mm -hmm. to ourselves of. 
if you could go after yes i did see the shield thing where like he broke one and they changed uh would you do that or could you go Ooh. and get grapple to make sure that you swing yourself to the other side of a map to back cap did you hear that and you have mm. to go like you have to get the grapple of not just skill expression but tactics i didn't know if it was going to be a power up or if you just had it but you have to get it of, you know this toy plus this toy and how those interact with objectives is super amazing looking at how the power mm. god that looks so satisfying holy shit. The active camouflage for this title what we're looking at what we're excited for is you pick that up and oh, you choose when you activate it it goes into your inventory it if you haven't used it okay. and can't tell kills you it's and yellow so i can't really tell oh it is yeah oh yeah that yeah so if you and if you legacy, if you oh so if you kill someone you can take it off their body when it comes to that's cool vehicles, we went in and decided to invest a lot in the, the systems when i take damage in my warthog uh my my wheels can get blown off my hood can uh, get blown off there's different aspects oh whoa oh, oh, look at alex driving change how my vehicle handles yeah, yeah. one, one will gone but still still taking them turns that is mm -hmm. a state mechanic so when you hit that was always the the driver in halo yep. i'm always on the gunner you got a certain amount of health mm. or a certain amount of time and you got to choose what you want to do mm, look at it tearing them up oh we blew oh. Got a cousin to the warthog which is the razorback razorback oh <gasps> whoa that's sick detached turrets power weapons fusion coils objectives and that is what is really making uh, the razorback kick a lot of butt Oh, so it's like a cargo thing. Oh, you saw that? It was like two in the back, two mm -hmm. people going in the back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can have a full four on it. That iconic yeah. fantasy for players as they're entering that match. What well, is that chopper? Um, what type of experience are they hoping to have? What kind of combat? What kind of dance floor is there available to have that combat? Mm, Ooh, I like you. Saw you grapple. That's some Pathfinder yeah, shit right there. You saw yeah. that? Yep. Mm -hmm. They grab a two of them. Got to We have. We have to call it the Pathfinder now. The full extent of the sandbox of Halo is Our buddy John that we play Apex match, with us right? shit all the time. The vehicles, the mm -hmm. weapons, the mm. shout, out, shout out to John. You, really you saw the ghosts. Kind of mm -hmm. All red. Feels you had, you know, playing, mm -hmm. play, playing the previous games. And just turn Ooh. the volume up. I like that. I, I, I can already see, like, I'm going to like the feeling of that pistol. The pistol the looks in we have a so sad. in your ear telling you that... Pelicans are gonna be dropping off these vehicles. Look how good this looks. This looks Halo fantastic. Style Delta Halo mission weapon pods that fall from the sky. And this is the multiplayer. Normally, they the graphics look better in campaign. So imagine the campaign. Imagine. This is not just more players. This is just this certain beautiful slice of sci-fi chaos. Yeah, a tiny bit for it. The announcer is oh, Alex? Your big gameplay moments, your game modes, just like the way it was before. Play. Personally, I is really a reflection and information for the player. Personal AI. Designation huh. So if a player grabs a flag, your personal AI is going to tell you to, you know, get that thing back to base and give you some like moment to moment updates. Our team took the enemy flag. What if we can let players That's choose cool. their own AI and each one of those are different voices? So that players can find the one that fits oh, their personality um, and their mood the best. Well, you can they, choose they different people like to do me, it. As a, as a Spartan, being more important than, and for us in multiplayer, it is really about becoming a Spartan. Whoa, that is you are really cool. Inside of the Halo universe, you can have your own AI. Mm -hmm. There you go. Yep, one. this is what I want. Oh my god, look at this, Alex. You have every single piece: your glove, your shoulder pad. That includes things like. Armor coatings, uh, armor emblems, various armor effects, down to the individual armor pieces. So your shoulders, your gloves, oh, your, whoa, gloves yeah. your helmet, your visor, your helmet attachments. Then you look at weapons, and we've got a whole slew of customization offerings there. Vehicles have a have a huge pool of customizations too. We support customization in the game. Players can do the same thing on HaloWaypoint.com as well as the Halo Waypoint. Oh, so we can use Waypoint Spartan again. Soldier yeah. I haven't used that, yeah. haven't used that Alex, probably as much as possible. since that, that is the live action type. thing yeah. for and the movie or the show or whatever. Choose prosthetics for the first time. Oh, oh, you can have a prosthetic. Oh, oh I'm having a prosthetic. That is awesome. Polished looks and let you express yourself. Dude, you've look at this. Yeah. Ooh, that We're knife on the shoulder. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so I like what that. What that means is that there's no random loot in this. There's so I can no make the Spartan mine. Very important to us that everyone oh, that no random loot? exactly how they unlock customization content, and we have a variety Those, of places uh, where they can do that. First off is the battle pass. 
The Halo oh, Battle Pass here we go. will never yep. be taken away from you. And what I mean by that is once you buy it, it's yours and does not expire. In future seasons, you can purchase old Battle Passes as well as the current Battle Pass and choose what? which Battle Pass to put your progression towards. All of these are that so is you're never gonna fucking be confused awesome. About where things come from. If you can so let's say you the finish the newest battle, battle pass, and you're like, oh, I never, I didn't finish last seasons, so I can just, go back to last just, seasons. Yeah, you just turn it on. That is, oh my god, that is awesome. That is, that is game changing. All customization is just cosmetic. Oh, uh, every season will have its own the, theme the, and the yellow new one. Components yeah, I like looks, that. New gameplay for players. New opportunities to earn and collect cool rewards. We've seen the the samurai. Oh whoa! Look at the samurai one. one the samurai looks sick. Armor cores. Oh, I hope I can get like a Viking style one. Gameplay. For I'm assuming that... this is like the tier 100. With us going free mm -hmm. skin, the multiplayer part of the game, like that was a big goal. Because it's, it's and it's free to play. play. Yeah, yeah it's free, dude. In, right? All you gotta do is pay for the when battle pass, probably, and that's it. There's They'll just dip their toes in if they even just want to see it. Not only are we free to play, but we're free to play on PC as well as console. What that means is we're able to get the biggest audience we've ever had. Everybody gets to play with no barriers. And even better, your progression carries from one platform and to the next. Yeah. Yes. Our game to be yes. On PC and console at the same time is an amazing chance for us to really just kind of excite new players about the game. How can we do things like make cross-play interesting and like even in just customs being able to just play with your friends that like some people have pcs and some people have consoles and like let them talk to each other let them be friends right let them be friends let them be friends alex Why let them be friends you? oh here we go the academy to be a Spartan. The academy damn is she's like so tall go, yeah she's huge uh, with an mp he's got all this shit in her kind of onboard into the experience it's great for newer players oh, who are like a tutorial still picking up the controls and also people who is it like a hub warm up before World, they maybe matchmaking it's hub a thing, series of experiences both a tutorial to get started for the first time, weapon drills, oh, okay. so oh. specific okay. items, and also oh, training mode. Oh, so you can you just straight up practice in here. Get warm, explore the game as you want to. For players who are See, this would be Halo, perfect because I can go in here before and like mess around with my sensitivity, field of view, and all that. And like, get it perfect kind of before I play the game. vocabulary that people have been speaking for now almost 20 years so that we, when they come in there, they don't feel like they're behind everyone else. They can kind of come in on an even footing. I mean, I'm super jazzed about bots. I think they're awesome. Our goal with bots <laughs> has been to friendly have bots three, a enemy bots four. Ooh, you can practice. Us. Provide a good training partner for wherever you're at in the experience. Partnering so cool. with our players Community. on the road to launch and after launch is absolutely critical, right? I mean, Halo's always been about the community conversation. We want to make sure we hear our players, make changes where we can based on that feedback make sure the game is ready for launch, and then even beyond launch. What I'm genuinely excited about is taking the game out of our hands and putting it into the community's hands. You know, whether it's seeing what people make in Forge or the content that they're able to create with theater. Got it. I, wonder, this I, wonder forge. This I completely involved, forgot about that. Halo I wonder if that's back. Put in your info yeah, he just said it is. Tag. Oh, is it? Okay, I didn't yeah, understand. You yeah, people, yeah, people can make uh, stuff in Forge. We feel like we've got a pretty good selection at launch and what's going to be there for our fans. And this isn't going to be something that is just a static set of items. We have some new stuff in the works already and just can't wait to really get hell? into that as soon as this game comes out. They're like, Maps, yeah. modes, yeah. new ways to customize your Spartan launches just the beginning. Now we're just going to be able to talk, interact more frequently, and that's just going to be great. That is the future of Halo Infinite multiplayer. Thank you to the community for all their feedback over the years so far, and uh, I'm looking forward to the road to launch, launch itself, and beyond. Mm. Sorry if it looks satisfying too. God, I can't wait for that shotgun, dude. Mm. Mm. Bam! That looks cool. Is that it? No, man. I wanted more. Ooh. Holiday 2021, man. Alex. Mm. Halo Infinite multiplayer. I, I'll be honest. Again, I didn't know this was a thing. And I even was like, ah, do we even talk about this? I don't know if there's even going to be that much. Is it just like, mm -hmm. you know, more stuff from the conference of what we just watched? I'm so glad we watched mm -hmm. this. I'm so glad. Oh, for sure. That dude. was so good. So good. That was like everything I've wanted to hear about Halo, like in one video almost. Dude, I cannot wait. Like, I don't know. I'm, 
correct me if I'm wrong. I mean, almost every question I think I can think of was just answered, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. That we have battle passes. Yes, you can buy previous. It, you can buy the new ones and the old ones, which is so cool. You can. Oh, that's, Dude, that's it's so crazy. You can buy it and you own it. Like it's it's awesome. kind of like it's kind of like you remember what, what, what Fortnite used to do in the first chapter uh, with the characters that had like the things you can unlock, like yeah, uh, like XP with their skins and stuff. Is that mm-hmm. yeah. yeah, yeah, like the Ice King. I think that was one of them that I was I the last so. ones I ever got. Yeah. It's like yeah, it was like after the seasons after, and I finally unlocked certain things. Like XP went to that. Yeah, yeah, it's like similar to that in a way. Kind of, yeah. I, I'm. I mean, I'm blown away by what we just That was really fun. I, mm-hmm. I think my favorite part was the Battle Pass thing, but also the customization. Customization, the, dude, is my thing. I still have a few questions about how weapons work. I guess it's all just ordnance drops. and. Uh, well, it's all, it, you start fresh, and it's, not, it's right. not all ordnance drops. It's just some on the, like, just sitting on the wall, on the floor, oh, and things like that. That's right. We did see them just kind of chilling in a cage. They're just, just chilling, yeah. So you actually have to run and go pick them up. Okay. I okay. feel like we done that before i mean like you know when you start a game i think more like halo 4 it seems like well in three i mean in any game really i'm assuming like three i mean you run around you start with the you start with a gun but then you run around and you find one on the floor and Mm -hmm. grab it that's true that's true but yeah i mean i mean i I, god that was like oh my god i think that might be my favorite thing from e3 like if i like obviously Mm. single was this single was this for e3 was this part of that or they're like we just show it off Eh, i mean i don't know it depends on your definition i guess but i think it is it's part of their conference or whatever but i think if i had to pick one single thing this i think what's been my favorite so far like so many questions were answered I I did I do wish we had a separate one just for the guns because I'm just excited to see more guns. But mm-hmm. obviously that can I'm wait. I'm sure there's a lot. So yeah, that uh, look at that rifle. Oh my god, that rifle looks so fun. That that looks stoked. Oh, okay, but but um, aside from that, Alex, anything you want to uh, leave the achievers with? Oh, I dude, I am just. I just can't wait, dude. I don't know. Like, I, I all that customization, and, like, my mind, I'm thinking of, like, oh, what color does my visor want to be? What color I want mm-hmm. my shoulder pads to be? Mm-hmm. Do I want to do, like, an N7-style looking thing? Do I want to, like, do a different type of thing? Alex, like, really quickly. Uh, really quickly. Just look at the mm-hmm. screen. Like, at, 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 at the confidence monitor. Just look at what this this guy does. Grapples the gravity hammer to him. Like you're gonna be able to pull oh. like little stuff like that off every every. It's now crazy. Like, like, literally, we can see somebody go for that hammer. You could be like yoink. Mm-hmm. That's oh my god! Just the idea of doing that, grabbing it, turning around. There's someone coming through a hallway. Oh, I wish we had a date. That's the only downside of this whole Halo thing. I'm thinking November. We, st- uh, I think so too. I think November is the only thing because if it was any earlier, I feel like they would have known. So I think it's mm-hmm. November as well. But I like that cool. shield thing where, like, if you're shooting it, only a little bit comes off, and that seems fair instead of it, it all fair. coming off. Yeah, and you can kind of go to the left, and you, know, you can throw a grenade through mm-hmm. it then too. That seems cool too. Like, you get a certain segment, just toss a grenade in there. God, that shot. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm gonna be fantasizing about it. It looks so good. Oh my god, it looks so good. All right, Achievers, what do you think? Remember, always comment below. Remember, patreon.com slash easy achievers. You know the drill. Uh, like, comment, subscribe if you're if you're still here. Thank you for watching so much of this. This was, again, this was really fun. I Oh, my this, God. Yep. I loved this. All of this. Go, go get Game Pass, man. You'll get this game. That's true. You will get Game Pass. You will get Game Pass and all the other stuff in, in the Bethesda Xbox conference. All 27 games that were shown. But Ugh, crazy. aside from that, thank you so much. And remember... Go, go chief. Go play Halo and go chief. <laughs>